one chat GPT prompt that you can use in all your prompts in order to create fantastic content, fantastic messages, fantastic whatever you want to do with chat GPT and growing a business or, or getting more sales in whatever you do. And let me explain what I mean. It all comes down, business, I think we can all agree, comes down to market message fit, a fit between you and the market. If there's no fit between you and the market, then nothing works because ultimately then the messaging misses, people don't resonate, they don't buy, they don't perceive you to be valuable, they go to the competition and it's difficult to get attention. So in other words, all of our marketing, all of our content comes from a deep dive on our client avatar. What's a client avatar? It's just a very glamorous way, complicated way of saying the people most likely to buy from you, their behaviors, their skills, their primary emotions, their habits, their thoughts, what drives them, the internal conflict, where they are and where they want to be. That's a lot of information right there, but previously in the past, only companies like Amazon and, and big companies had access to crunch this data and process this data. But now in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with ChatGPT because we have access to AI. You might be thinking, what do you mean by Amazon, Mark? Well, if you go to Amazon, you see a list of all the things that, that they, they think you will buy and that's informed by your past behaviors. When you go on YouTube, like now, you will see all the things that they believe you will watch based on your, your behavior. They throw it in an algorithm, they crunch the data, and it comes out the other end. And here is what we are going to st fill in. We're gonna fill in the basic dem pro demographic profile, where they wanna go, primary emotions, what they read, or we'll pull out the Amazon reviews, and we'll throw a lot of data into ChatGPT to get an outcome. So let's begin with a basic demographic profile. And by the way, a basic demographic profile would be their age, their generation. For me, it's 40 plus, generation X or, or the cusp of generation X and millennial, college educated, whatever your generation is. Have a small business, have kids in a marriage, want a business to grow, but can also spend time with their family, looks after the health the best they can. It doesn't have to be exactly for your business, this example. Just change this demographic profile. The demographic profile is all you need at the start. And by the way, going further than the demographic profile will put you a long way ahead of what I've seen. And what do I mean by that? Let me show you. This is an example, King Charles and Ozzy Osbourne, because let's run King Charles and Ozzy Osbourne side to side to prove the point that demographic data is not enough and illustrate how important the content of this video and the, the concepts in it are going to be for growing a business. So if we look at KC, KC stands for King Charles. He's on the left, Ozzy Osbourne's here. He's obviously the King of England. He's obviously the lead singer or former lead singer of, of Black Sabbath. Two very different people in terms of their behaviors, intent, and priorities right now, because that's what we're interested in, right? It, behaviors, intent, and priorities right now. Because if we can understand behaviors, intent, and priorities right now, we can understand what someone's likely to do. And if we understand what someone's likely to do, we can match our marketing to that, find those people and get qualified leads instead of waste of time leads. So he's a boomer, he's English, he's got two kids, King Charles is, he's married twice, business success, wealthy, likes dogs. Ozzy Osbourne, boomer, English, two kids. I don't know the marriage twice, but that's a small detail in the grand scheme of things. Has had business success, he's wealthy, he likes dogs. So in other words, these two people here, King Charles and Ozzy Osbourne, demographically, they're very similar. But King Charles has got a lot on his plate with his coronation and all that stuff, right? Ozzy Osbourne's got different things on his plate with, with, with what happened to Sharon, his wife, last year, and we won't go down there. But the point remains, the two very different people. So let's take this data and push this data into chat GPT. Let's just give it a broad me about this person if I was, just a broad prompt just to get going because the key thing with chat GPT, right, is just to take a prompt, adjust, take a prompt, adjust. And by the end of it, you'll have an amazing prompt that, that won't need much adjustment, but um, targeting them to sell them business coaching. Let's just go with business coaching. I think we can all relate to that. Help to grow a business. It could be help to improve health, help financial help, help to install software, whatever, right? So let's put in the, this here into practical solutions. And I agree about that with my market. They want to know it's going to work. They're, they're skeptical. Um, yeah, demonstrate your expertise and showcase testimonials. 
face challenges related to time management. Right, this is the key point here, right? You could get this out of both, but this is the absolute key point. Every single person is at a point in their life. Let's call it point A. Every single person you want to get to. And point B is where they want to get to. Ultimately, that in a nutshell is the buyer persona. If we can figure out the conflict here, the conflict that's holding them back. In this case, looking at chat GPT, the conflict here is work-life balance. Ways your coaching can help him stream his business operations without compromising family time. Anybody that's watching this that has a family, you will know that's really difficult. There's this conflict. For me, I want to be independent. I want to demonstrate achievement. I want to be my own man. But also, I want to be there for the family. I want to be nurturing. I want to be caring. I want to be an example. And, and I also want to be a present father and an amazing husband to my wife, Paula, because money without a relationship and her desiring me and me desiring her is ultimately not wealth, right? That's, that's just having some money and, and being sad. So it really, really is difficult. So there's going to be conflict there. There's going to be what are they trying? They trying. There's going to be the primary emotions, the secondary emotions. There's going to be the books the publications, and we're gonna throw it all in here right now. So let's take what we've got out of here so far, um, which is really, really good. You could literally take this and right now and you could ask ChatGP to produce posts, but we're gonna go deeper. Where are they in life compared to where they wanna to get to? Let's break it down into a few areas. Business growth. All right, let's, let's write the next chat that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a different one reading this. This is super powerful, emotional and limiting beliefs is <laughs> it's using me right <laughs> this person experiencing why am I going to ask this question here conflict as I just as I just showed on, on, on the screen share if we can figure out what that conflict is and solve that problem in our conflict that's a much better than show yell and tell all this how-to conflict and more than that if we can understand their limiting beliefs and in the purpose of understanding those limiting beliefs, replace them with an empowering belief that empowers them and makes them feel good and makes them think about things differently. That's where chat GPT and AI is powerful, taking that data and then turning it into our own language. So let's see what it says, right? Fear of failure, right? Yeah, <laughs> fear of failure. Everybody in this niche want to get from, say, Florida, where I am, to San Diego, but they're waiting to see the state border for California before they start the journey. They want to know how to do it before they put their foot on the gas. It's impossible. It's the fear. And at this age, I don't know about you if you're watching, if you're sage or not, maybe you're younger. I've got two little kids, Sam and Sienna, reliant on me. And, and it's no longer about me. It's no longer the Mark show. It's about more than that. Let's just take this out in case chat GPT goes down, because all of this is, is one prompt, by the way. This is absolutely one prompt you can put in because your prompts should be paragraphs in length. Let's paste it, edit, paste without formatting. This can be all put into any prompt you ask it to make a post, right? And let me show you exactly what I mean. I just cut and pasted all of the information we've done today into a Google document because I'm going to reuse and reuse and reuse. This is one prompt that can replace a lot of prompts. It has a word count of 1389 which is ideal full of emotions full of feelings full of data on that individual so we can whenever we're doing an email or a sales letter or absolutely anything on chat gpt we can put that in there and if you look i just did it and i i just said please write in a sales email about this individual and i cut and pasted all of the information there straight out the google document and it's come and it's given me this fantastic even the tonality is good it's, it knows exactly, who, the ChatGPT knows exactly who I'm speaking to. It's spoken about all the pain points and they're all in there. And so I can reuse and reuse that. So this document is available below. If you want to get that Google document, just click on the link below. There's also an event link where we can review your copy and, and review your buyer persona. Um, I really, really hope this has been useful. I'm going to pop up a link here to use, so you can use this prompt to build a landing page with ChatGPT or LinkedIn messages with ChatGPT. You can use this data to do that. 
All that remains to be said is have a wonderful day and excuse the change in shirt. We actually came back and did this the next day. Take care, bye-bye.